baby, don't you see? You're dealing with a small town country boy from Tennessee. Woo! Hey. Y'all ready for part two? Well, here we go. So, this is like a pre-warning. I had some hiking, some driving with the windows down, and I did not have these. So the microphone picked up lots of wind and also doing that when I'm hiking. So I apologize for any wind and uh, any crazy stuff like this when I'm hiking. But uh, other than that, let's get this part two started. Ooh, good morning, Team Country. Huh? Yeah. And you'll into a... You'll say good morning? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Miss Country. Country mm. Carter on the loose. Yeah. I have no idea. I guess I didn't. <laughs> Country Carter on the loose. <laughs> what? Hey. He said, don't leave me out of the video. Woo! <laughs> I love Bandit. You, lo you love Bandit? Yes. Yeah? Hey, y'all want to see where I went to elementary school? Daddy. And Katie, before we move. We I told them last night at midnight. Me? They're probably going to see it prior to this clip. Daddy, do we have Daddy. to walk the movies? Is the yard back? Huh? Do we have to walk to Mimi's? No, we're not walking to Mimi's, but come on, we're gonna go outside and show them where Daddy went to school and Bubba. All right, let's go see. I was out there running my mouth at midnight last night. All right, so here's the garage and there's the school. That's right. Old school. Get it? Old school. Oh, oh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, old. Oh, old he said, get it? Old school? Ha, ha. And it's an old school, too, because you went to it. Well, no, I'm. I old. ain't that old. Not like that, but it's more than 30 years old. That's what I mean. Yeah, it is more than 30 years That's old. That I mean. it is. That's not, I, I'm not saying it anymore. That's what I meant. It's more than 30 years anyway, old. Anyway, so. Daddy. That is where I went to elementary school. Daddy. It's called Hickerson Elementary. Daddy. What? Does Mimi live far away from Stevens? No, Mimi lives down that road over there. Right over There's there. There's roads that go back in the oh, oh back in the woods and she's back there. So today starts the mark of the Tennessee filming and I've got a lot to film. So look at tall That is a tall pole. Anyway guys, that's where I went to elementary school. <clears throat> Like a hundred years ago. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, I already told them. I told them at midnight last night. They're gonna see it right before this clip. You, you and your mama both said that. And brother, I'm like I included him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People call me old. Well, guys. Hey, man. You wanna be my stick? bit of back roads right before we get to the where I was raised and where my wife was also raised and yeah Rutledge Falls is down there and hold on guys we're gonna restart it here in just a second I gotta turn flash off bad restart this is the pretty well known big red barn I guess everyone knows. there's a lot of weddings that are held here so Guys, this is a big part of uh, this town's life. Is Rutledge Falls, which we will show you guys later on. But these are what we were used to driving every single day. This is this was the growing up that we knew. Um, of course, this is just a small part of it. This is just as we're right down the road. 
and uh, this is where all the wrecks happen. <laughs> on, Shut up. On this, on this hill right here. There's, oh, I thought you meant like a No, that's not where it hurts, but hundreds of wrecks around that curve and that hill there. And on the right here has always been farmland and horses. Yeah, mostly stinky chickens right there. Definitely stinky chickens. To see Mimi? Yeah, and the kitties. And the kitties. Yeah, Alright, guys, this is it. This is my. My everything. When I grew up. So, that's freaking shit. So, the three junky trailers there used to not be there. But that old white church has always been there. We grew up roller skating and uh, jumping our bikes off the steps and whatever else and uh, those two brick houses they were always there all these years and uh, back here is where my best friends were this is the this is the land here where we had backyard baseball and backyard football and learned how to get in trouble you know everything else but everything behind there is woods as far as you want to go down the road it's solid woods uh, same with on the other side of this road solid woods back here all fields as far as the eye can see back here and then it's woods as far as you want to walk and uh what, what in the world mom why do you have a tire chilling here hmm. but anyway um this is it guys this is uh this is where i grew up and we'll go down the road and i'll show you my y'all see that my camera just tried to cut me off anyway i will be at my grandma's uh which is down the road and we'll do some filming there but this is it i spent many a years in this little old just i don't know the low country spot we didn't bother nobody. We had lots of bonfires and that actually right there, see all that overgrown? That was a big pond. And well, they got corn planted there now, but there used to be a lot more. And back there, which is actually where my best friends live, and both of their grandparents that live there, we called Momo and Popo. They're both dead. They uh, recently have both passed, and they were a, a big part of our life. Matter of fact, they were they were a big part of our life. They actually one of the good memories was when we went to eat over there. We weren't allowed to uh, to have something to drink until we finished our food. Now later on in life, now I see why. Look, Mama's got look how big these trees are right in her front yard. They're nice. Talking about some privacy trees right in the front. All right. Look, she is definitely, look at that. Hey, that's one thing I say about my mom. She keeps, a, she keeps it clean. 
she likes it, you know, she likes her stuff like she likes it. You gotta love her. Oh, look here. Hey, everybody, we've caught a picture of a wild sun drop. Shh. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh, we got lucky. Hi. And there's the Maja. Hey, everybody. I get to hug my son. Yep. Oh, that's the one who raised me. I did, right here. Yep, right in this house. We're gonna take. We're gonna it's take kinda, a look. Kind of old house, but good house. Huh? It is a good house. It 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 served its purpose. Show them the front porch and the flowers. I did. That was the first thing I did when I walked up. But I'm gonna. I only got a couple minutes on this memory card, and I gotta switch. But uh. So that, uh, yeah. So here's one of the old bedrooms. I gotta switch memory cards. I got like another minute of recording. And this was my room at one point. This was a. Oh, they got Peter in here now. This was my little room. The terrible office. I wish I had an office. Oh, you might have room. Yeah, but Jean's got it full of techno stuff. Oh. I've got it full of craft stuff. So. Show them the cats, but don't let them out. I haven't even seen the cats yet. Another room. Oh wait, close the door. I don't see any cats. You can show them the cats, but don't let the cats in the bedroom. Don't let the cats in the bedroom. Hey, we're gonna continue this tour in a minute. I gotta switch memory cards. Well, of course. Okay, did you grow up climbing this tree? Yeah. You did. Uh huh. You used to have to jump to get on that limb. Yep. Huh? I see that. I must say, it looks like uh, the monkey's out of training. It's smaller than I. It's smaller than I was saying to use the. Well, you used to fit in between the branches a little better. Yes. <laughs> I'm older now. Been well, three years. I used to climb this one too, and I would climb uh, way up there. I don't go that high. Uh, I did. I went to the tip top where your mimi used to get really mad. I usually stop like. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Nothing. I was just seeing if your face would be blurry because I'm seeing a bunch of blurred sun lines. Be careful. He, hey, he pulls, Mom. Yeah, I know. We want it out, but I don't know where his leash is. Oh, I'll find it. Come on. Hi. Bandit. There you are. Did you get some good ones at different angles? You, oh no, he didn't. There's nothing to pay. Look, one drop. Oh, look. On. I'm telling you, he pays air. America, oh America. Oh, no. She was doing the twist. Do the twist. I've got a roller. Uh, why don't you get on the floor with the roller and stretch out your spine? I've already done that. Let's get a picture of Mimi's front yard and flowers. Okay, video, not picture. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so let me walk around to the side here, guys. Hey, by the way, if these are super long, you guys are more than welcome to not watch, you know what I mean? All right, I hear my son running up behind me. Uh-huh, I heard you coming. So, our, uh, our dog that we used to have right before we moved here, our huge Doberman. Is it facing that way or you go It's facing forward. Um, they are buried back here. We wanted to leave them in Tennessee in a good spot, so mom's yard it was, but the rose bushes are actually on our dog's graves, and there's more that way from my childhood. But there's many animals that are buried along that fence line. They're all the way to the corner and all the way over here. But uh, anyway, I'm still wondering if my buddies are home. My childhood best friends just live right there. Anyway, um, so 
me and my wife had moved out on our own for a while after living with both parents and we actually bought a trailer that's right on the other side of this wood line so my mom's was here and we bought the house right behind these trees and uh here there's long driveways that go way back in there and there's three or four houses that go way back in there and uh anyway so we had a lot of a lot of places to ride bikes and four-wheelers and i used to uh raise a little cane on my raptor 660 throughout this entire neighborhood and back in here and go into the lake with the full wheeler and uh I, lord I, I a lot of trouble that i got in on that full wheeler but you know when you're young and having fun what do you do that tree needs trimmed i don't have my stuff here dun, 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 dun. all right guys so now we're heading to my grandparents' farm that I was raised on, and uh, we shall be there in a few. As you can see, it's pretty, uh, well, pretty much nothing. But it's a good nothing. So we're pretty much almost at the edge of the property line. This bean field was almost there. The edge of the bean field over was where it started. And the house, I don't know, has been abandoned for I don't know how long. Anyway, the edge of the property used to start here. So everything behind this house and of course it's overgrown and abandoned here. Everything that I point the camera at now will be uh, the land. Hopefully I can even pull in and get out, I don't know. I guess I'm about to find out. Hmm. Yep, I can pull in there. Kind of a bittersweet. God, it's so overgrown. Yep, it is extremely overgrown and abandoned. But anyway, guys, so I know it's super, super overgrown. You won't be able to see way back in there, but there was many, many acres, over 500 acres behind here that I learned to drive a car on and everything else you could possibly imagine. But there's no homes as far as I can see or go. Yeah, good Lord. Talking about overgrown and I right, bandit. I wonder if the old barn is gone. This is the old pump house shed. And there's an old well over here that I'll show you. We used to we used to throw tons of rocks in. Ooh, is it open? No way. There used to be a pump house here. All right, guys. Well, let's see if it's. Need to stay back. Oh it got, yeah, it's it's as far as. Oh my god, that's scary. All right. Well, guys. Anyway, guys, sorry. I had to make my kids get back. But uh, if I can give you an example here, let me see if I can find a, here we go. 
it's uh, a... <laughs> I can't believe that's just open like that. I mean, it is straight just... Wow. There you go, guys. That, that's actually a pretty good uh, picture there. The never-ending tunnel. <laughs> I don't know how deep the water is, but uh, the water is actually pretty high because I used to be able to count uh, two or three seconds for it to hit, so the water must have a, a good line going in. Man. Anyway, all right, so there is a hole in the ground. And here, which is no longer gone, all of this, this was not here. No bushes, none of this was here. It was all trails and red clay with barns with tractors all right here huge red barn right here that i used to sleep up in the loft and there's actually uh, another another well actually right there or maybe that's the well house that, no that's another well that was it's always been there um all of these are walnut trees all of them are walnuts um i almost burnt the house down actually this tree in the front I almost, we, anyway, long story short, me and my older cousin almost burnt the house down because we set this whole tree on fire. And uh, we used to sit on this front porch right here in rocking chairs with a 22 rifle and pop birds off of lines and just, just, shoot, just pretty much shoot these walnuts out of the trees with a 22 rifle and shotguns and everything else. Man, it smells good. You know what? I bet my daughter's never even seen a walnut. I almost guarantee it. Anyway, guys, so over 500 acres. I wish I could drive you guys way back on them tree lines and show you the apple trees and the blackberry lanes and everything else, but maybe that'll give you guys a, a good idea of where I came from. Bless it. I was going to show her a walnut. <laughs> I said, I don't think she's ever seen a walnut. Good, are you driving? All right, guys, so that's a little tour of the old farm and uh we about to head on down the road again mm, oh yeah just me and my walnut look here look here we're gonna look here but oh i won't hold it who and uh by the way this field that's got all the grass in it me and my son came out here in the truck a long time ago and uh tried out the new tires and uh we had to go reverse from way down there all the way to the road and back down a ditch because we were getting so stuck that we couldn't move. <laughs> oh, gotta love it. Yeah, see, both ways is just nothing. So, the best nothing. Yeah, that's what I said earlier, the best nothing. And all of this was grandpa's that we used to rent out for farmers to use their machines and get their beans and crops and sometimes it was corn and it just depended on what they planted but all the way to this stop sign right up here which is actually named after my grandfather uh-huh this road here right there is called Thacker Road and uh, it was named after my grandfather because all of the land all the way back there was his so anyway hope y'all enjoyed the little tour all right, next stop, Rutledge Falls, which is, how far from the house is this? Maybe three, Maybe a mile. yeah, I don't know. It's, this is a, a spot that's a mile or two. How are y'all? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna vlog it. Y'all already know. Hey, this video clip might be long, warning y'all. I thought there might not be people here. And I'm actually kind of glad there is. Hey, y'all can see the red barn better from here now. Are those animals over there? Huh? Are those animals over there? Is there animals over here? Yeah. No, no, uh-uh. Over there on the other side of the street. No, there's no animals over there. I'm going to show you guys some thorns here in just a second on this tree. We call them the Jesus thorns. I'm sure they're still here because they were here my whole life. Here they are. I'll see the size of these things. 
Look at that. What is that? I don't know. I call them Jesus thorns. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh huh. Look here. Here's a better one. Look that. here. I didn't even see that. Uh huh. <laughs> you watch me anyway. peeing at. We haven't even walked two minutes. Come here, Sissy. Come look at the waterfall. Look, been down here look at her shirt. Simply Southern. Baby, baby. My mother got married years and years and years and years and years and years ago over there. Here's a sign. Welcome to Relish Falls. No alcohol. Blah, blah, blah. You know, same. Normal stuff. Open door until dusk. Dun, 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 dun. You know Hello. Like... It's a popping place for a small town. I'm liable to run into someone I know. Hey. All right, you can hear it already. I have jumped off this falls a many a many a times. I'll be surprised if anyone's swimming in this icy. Oh, yep. Hey, you boys, you gonna jump? Oh, I used to ride my four wheelers all up and through and all that stuff up on top. I have no idea they're being filmed either. Oh, you know what? They're still dry. They haven't jumped in. That's why it's taking so long. Oh, yeah, y'all might as well jump now. You're on camera. Yep, go ahead, boys. Storm has done. There's rocks and stuff out there. I would Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all know you're being filmed now. Now they're arguing who's going to go first. There you go, son. <laughs> oh, it's so cold, too. It's so cold. <laughs> oh. I know how cold that is. <laughs> so, this is Rutledge Falls, guys. Here's my homie. Oh, 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 oh. Got boobies. You, you two may not approve. So. Oh, there is a longer trail to get down. Kira can't go down this trail, but she can go down the uh, this trail over here. And we'll go down to the bottom where we used to go and wade and hang out. And uh, I carry a little bit if I need to. I'll hold the camera for you. Play you want me to? Talk. Here you go. How you talk? Yeah, keep it, keep it steady. All right. Yeah. All right, sis. You ready? Huh, no. no, we're not going to yeah, swim in that. Here you go. I'll go. Mm. All right. Oh, ha, ha. Ben's going to be running away. <laughs> <laughs> He's, too big. He's too big of a chicken. I need to pop a squat. We're all ready? Mama. I got someone pulling me down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier that way. True. Oh, he's brushing me. Hey, if the filming's crazy, I'm sorry. My son's doing it. Hey, it's hard. It's heavy. Hey, we rode our bicycles down here, too, on this trail. You have a heavy stick. It's not my fault. No, it's not. Here you go. Yee yee! <laughs> All right. I'm not going to go down there. You're not going down where? Oh, let's duck. All right. But I am mama going to let the kid get slipped on it. What do you think? You think think YouTube wants to see our adventure? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is what we grew up right next to, guys. And I'm sure we'll be back here again. This is where Yeah, there's natural little... Oh, there, all right. Dun, 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 dun. 
No, I didn't slip. I'm good. Is this the slippery part? No, I don't know. I don't know what brother's talking about. Yeah, guys, so I have rode my bike on this trail growing up a hundred different times. <laughs> then it's like, all right. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, are you guys bored yet? I'm bored. <laughs> I'm asking YouTube if they're bored yet, not you. You crazy? But I wonder if the boys are bored in there. there. You wonder if the boys are bored? Yeah. Why do you think they would be bored? Because that water is very cold. Oh, is it? Yes. I am. All right, so. This is where we would come down Bad and hang out. Butt. And uh, where you There's could, you know, in there. bring the dogs. and sharks Oh, in it there. feels good down here. Did you hear that? What'd you say? Cooler. That's what I, ju I just said. For it feels bandit. good down here. For bandit, too. All right. I'll put you down here in just a minute, sis. Oh. All right. Hold on. Let's get you right off the cliff here. All right. Here you go. So, we used to have a wiener dog named Zeus that we would bring down here and let him run around. And... He was walking in this shallow water and he found a drop off and went head first in it. <laughs> and it was the funniest thing we'd ever seen. He and he never again yeah. wanted to go back in the water. But, yep. Yeah. So, won't find any shark's tooth here in Tennessee. But, this is the land of arrowheads. So, finding arrowheads is uh, a little bit tougher. But it's still, you know, still awesome. And you can actually walk for, how long do you think it take for you to hit a dead end going that way? An hour? Yeah. Probably, you could take a good hour hike just going down. And uh, usually you want to bring waders or, you know, some sort of boot or something. Yeah, but, uh, so yeah, I'll hold them. Um, you the well, I don't know if I can do that. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm trying to film, homie. Come over here, babe. I'm gonna walk up here. Bandit, come on. You can't pee on everything. He How are you gonna pee on... He does. He tries to pee on everything. Everything that's sticking up out of the ground, he has to pee on it. Right here. All right, so let's... Guys, like I said, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I will probably have a whole bunch of long clips that, you know, you guys can either watch or just fast forward or whatever, but... Huh? No, I was oh. Oh, Bandit, you're pulling me, boy. Bandit, you gonna pee on everything, buddy? Really? Can't we just walk? Guys, I can't tell you how good it feels down here. Good grief. Hey, you know what? I'm going to turn the camera around. By the time y'all see my face. Hey, I've been doing, hey, I can't help it. Oh, oh, I'm coming. So, hey. This is what we used to do. Yeah, it's, and it's shallow enough, like I said, guys, you can actually, you know, do whatever you want. We used to be crazy and ride our bicycles down these little, waterfalls and jump them and slide and land on our face and everything else but we enjoyed it look <laughs> is that good and cold water to drink buddy yeah <laughs> oh man it's going crazy Hi, sissy. What do you mean, what is this dirty stuff? That's just rocks and water. You've been in the city too long. What is this dirty stuff? <laughs> she was a little, she was a little chunky baby. Here you go. I'll give you the... Yeah, we can go over and take a picture. Oh, crap. 
All right, well, hey, that's our little short tour. We can uh, we can't vlog everything. Gotta have a little bit of a little bit of time to relax and be off camera. But uh, we will see you guys in the next clip. And I don't know what machine gun falls maybe. Nah. All right, see y'all later. Hey. Hmm. What are you trying to say? Let's go check on these hoodlums. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. What are y'all doing? Hey, Karen Nay. What you got? Some wet hair? You smell better now? Maggie? Well, at least y'all aren't being a bunch of hoodlums. Or are you? She is? She is? I'm just trying to have a relaxing vacation. It's not a vacation for me. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Maggie. Maggie. The, the paper cutter get it hey yeah we starting it ain't dark yet but uh that's all right because we got the logs sitting over there ready for night time dun 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 hey i'm backing up it's hot back it up huh that is yeah, hey, I can, it finally just stopped getting hot right here. Get a camera shot. Nice. Hey, y'all bored yet? Howdy, folks. <laughs> I sound like Catfish Cooley when I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, folks. Hey, we got a little marshmallow fire going. Because the kids couldn't stand next to the big one. Hey, I can barely... It, look, you see me on the screen? You, you see me on the screen? Look, I can like tell ghost stories like this. <laughs> look here. What? I don't know any ghost stories. Y'all shit out of luck. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Anyway, we're uh, we're on day two. Actually, we've only been here 24 hours officially. Ain't that right? Yep. It's actually the 24 hour period. Look, I have professional studio lighting out here just so I can film for you guys. All right. Hey, this is hired help. He's got to stand there and shine a light on my face so I can film. Oh. You, know what I'm, you know what the charge is? We ain't come up with that part. I should have thought about it before I started this I conversation. Hey, the point of the story is, is I just had chicken and steak, macaroni, cheese, green beans, and some taters so hot that I had to blow my nose outside. With it. Snot rocket. I had to sn snot rocket potatoes. That's what I had. Mm. Oh, you know I'm country. Woo. Yes, sir. Mm. On them long dirt roads in them hills of Tennessee. Miles and miles and nothing well, That's just home to me We got them friends and family Gathered round talking about them good times And Uncle Joel warned you about Walking down the wrong line I ain't never been scared And I ain't really one for messing around And you can bet your bottom dollar I'm about to throw down have you ever seen the moon and the stars from the back of a Chevrolet? With some George Jones on and a phone on roaming the bills of pay. In your mind thinking my whole my thank God for the way she's made. At the bonfire with your hands up just dancing the night away. If it ain't never felt right like it did tonight then baby don't you see. You're dealing with a small town country boy from Tennessee. It's an honest day's pay. It's
it's a back road, it's real long. Mud ties rolling down through the hollers, you can hear him as he's coming home. Was your first date down at the lake with a fishing pole in your hand? Was your first impression that his mama raised up a good man? Does he listen to your daddy talk about being lost and now he's found? With some scatter playing as they pass and one around. Have you ever seen the moon and the stars from the back of a Chevrolet? With some George Jones on and a phone on Rome and the bills are paid. In your mind thinking, my who oh my, thank God for the way she's made. At the bonfire with your hands up, just dancing the night away. If it ain't never felt right like it did tonight, then baby, don't you see? You're dealing with a small town country boy from Tennessee. He was ten years old with a shotgun on his side Roaming like a free bird across the county line Granddaddy said, boy, if you find your Dixieland a light Oh, you better treat that girl right So if it sweeps you off your feet in your camouflage gown you can bet your diamond ring that he gon' put a knee down Have you ever seen the moon and the stars from the back of a Chevrolet? With some George Jones on and a phone on Rome and the bills are paid If it ain't never felt right like it did tonight, then baby don't you see You're dealing with a small town country boy from Tennessee